When you think of surfing, especially in Southeast Asia, you think of Bali, Chagao in the Philippines, Sri Lanka, maybe even Vietnam. But Thailand rarely jumps to the top of the list. But surprisingly, here on the west coast of Pang Na province and a bit further down into Phuket, there is a massively cool surfing scene which we're going to discover today. So strap in, relax, we're going to the beach, we're going to be surfing, we're going to be having a great time in Thailand. Let's go. My name is Paddy Doyle and this is my little Honda dream and welcome to Next Level Adventures. Right now we are attempting to visit every single province in Thailand. We've had some incredible adventures already but the best part is we're only just getting started. So subscribe and join us as we discover this incredible country together. Good morning. Okay, so we're starting the day and I think we're gonna stay here all day at Memories Beach and particularly Memories Beach Bar because they rent surfboards here, they have food and drink, including really good coffee, which is very important for me in the morning. I got an Americano with pink grapefruit. No, I didn't. It's guava, pink guava juice. This will give you all the feels, and it's really surprising, even for me, someone who's lived in Thailand this long, I had no idea that Thailand had a surfing scene, until right now. I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I'd knew My will is strong with a place to leave In the moment I hung best belief The other ring of my wrist is Ooh, spicy noodle breakfast! Now, I've come down to the beach just to get a closer look of the waves and there is a hundred people out there surfing in the morning and it's about nine o'clock in the morning. The sun hasn't actually come out blasting on this side yet. It's still just a little bit below these giant trees. And so, yeah, good time to go out there if you don't want to get sunburned. I've got sun cream and I will be going out to surf soon. I just want to show you a little bit more of Memories Bar and just the whole vibe on this beach because this is really surprising. It's like being in somewhere like Bali or even parts of Sri Lanka this reminds me of. So Memories Beach Bar here on Memories Beach is actually like a combination of a million things. It has a skate park over here where kids are practicing and in the evening they light it up really cool. I'll show you that at the end of the video because that's one of my favourite parts about this place. Then you've got Memories Beach Club which is the main restaurant. They do really good Thai food, seafood, snacks, drinks, alcoholic, non-alcoholic cocktails. Really good music in the evening as well. And then you have outside seating with like wooden huts with thatch roofs, a surf school in the distance, volleyball here at sunset which I'll play hopefully later with the locals. And of course you can rent surfboards, there is a coffee shop where obviously I got this morning's breakfast, all types of coffees, teas, Thai teas, Americanos, ice hot, everything you need. All types of coffee. And lots of swings and people are using these right now just to film the surfers or you can hang out, chill, or take the amazed, amazing Instagram. And in the afternoons about sunset, um, the buffaloes come out from the forest and go for a sunset stroll for some reason, and it is incredible. Again, I'll show you that at the end of the video because it's, it's amazing. And obviously, you know, you can see that there aren't massive waves today, but that's good, that's good. I haven't surfed in ages. So I think I'm gonna go rent a longboard. We'll go out there. 
I'll let you know how much it costs and we'll just hang out because there's a bunch of people out there enjoying the waves, enjoying being on the ocean, enjoying the surf vibes here in Thailand. Still can't get used to this. And let's just go out there and have some fun. big as well. Sun cream on today. If you watched the last video when I went fishing, <laughs> I got so sunburned. Turns out you can get sunburned even in the shade in Thailand. And I got this, look, long sleeve, like a uh, surfing shirt and 50% uh, off, 1000 bar. And the good thing about it is, I can wear it when I'm going on my bike. Keep my arms out of the sun, because normally when I wear my red checkered shirt, it always like comes up. Anyway, I'm rambling. Wait for this to dry, and then we'll go out and hit the waves. And they've gone bigger, so it's gonna be hard. So the waves are a bit too big for me right now because I haven't surfed in a long time and everybody out there is shredding on these big waves. Typical. Uh, I've been waiting for like two weeks for this replacement part on the GoPro, the, the door, because it broke recently, this thing. You see this? And I bought one for like 150 bar on Lazada, which is like the Thai Amazon. And it arrived when I was staying at Rawai Muay Thai and it clips on fine and it doesn't quite close flush. There's like a tiny little gap right here, you see? Or here? Anyway, when I was in there getting shots, it was working fine, so I was like, okay, it must be closed properly. But then of course it started acting weird and now it won't turn on, so I'm just like letting it chill here with the doors open. There was a little bit of water inside and it won't turn on. So I hope I haven't broken my GoPro to add to the long list of things that are broken on this trip including this camera <laughs> this camera is broken um, but I'll talk to I might talk about that later but um, camera equipment when you're filming in Southeast Asia doing stuff like climbing mountains surfing just having adventures doesn't doesn't like it very much I should just sit in restaurants talking about food um, walking around temples that would be way more safe for my camera equipment but way more boring. <laughs> so, uh, let's hope the GoPro situation fixes it itself. Because I want to show you me surfing, but...
my friend's actually in Phuket. It's about 15 or 20 kilometers south from here. Maybe a little bit more. Anyway, there's a giant storm there. And she just texts me saying, oh my God, it's pissing down. And I'm like, yeah, I can see. Look at it over there, it's crazy. Blue sky is back this way. So it's still beautiful here, but I think it's gonna rain. So the best thing to do, hottest part of the day, as the rain clouds develop around you, just go for a cheeky little massage. <laughs> here <laughs> and it is raining cats and dogs but that's okay I've got some delicious fried pork mmm it's delicious fried in chili and garlic oil and then of course I had to go with a classic som tum the papaya salad nice and crunchy looks delicious I asked for it spicy but I don't see many chilies in here maybe it maybe it's like a Lang, tourist spice. I don't even see one chili in here. She said spicy, mate. I said try, yes. She said Thai style. I said yes. Not a single chili in here. That's annoying. Man, do I suck at surfing. Uh, <laughs> the point of this video was never for me to say, oh, look how good I am at surfing. The point of this video was for me to show you the surfing scene and that it's here and that the people out there can surf. And if you can surf, you'll love it here. But look at this. <laughs> I was like loving life. I paddled out, no big deal. Hanging out on the boards. You know how they sit on the boards? Just enjoying the nature, enjoying the swells, enjoying the storm in that direction now. Beautiful. And then I started trying to catch a few waves. You know, of course, smash into the water, smash into the water. Never mind, get back up, try again, try again. One time, almost got up there. And then I find myself in what I would like to call the death zone. <laughs> Just where like the waves are crashing and the board is like flinging. And this thing here, this rope got caught like around both of my legs and then my legs were like this and I couldn't kick and I was panicking and man for a few minutes I thought I was gonna drown let's just say Paddy can't surf that's okay <laughs> and uh, it's a good job the GoPro was broke because I would have lost it 100% I would have lost it 100% anyway it's nearly sunset I'm alive let's enjoy it together <laughs> <laughs> 